guys, this is the outfit I wore and hair and necklace in my first video I ever made on YouTube. Hey girl. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here. I was originally going to make today's video a Sephora recommendation for the upcoming VIB sale haul, but I decided that it is always more fun to talk about what you want. So we're gonna go through my wish list today and I'd like to preface that maybe 10% of these things will actually be purchased because I'm not made of money. Are you guys smoothie people or juice people or neither people? The best frozen fruit, in my opinion, is the Trader Joe's berry and cherry, very berry, very cherry mixture that has cherries in it. If you don't like the taste of cherries, you're not gonna like it. Oh my God, it's so good with almond milk or coconut milk and you honestly don't need anything else. It's raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, cherries. Magnifique. I'm so sorry. <laughs> For the rest of this video, I will indeed have something in my tooth. I am so sorry. I literally just noticed it. I always thought it was crazy when YouTubers would do like wish list videos and then their next video would be a haul of literally everything they talked about in their wish list. Honey, I'm not gonna do the math, but I'm not prepared. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. We talk about more than just makeup and Sephora on this channel. We talk about skincare, lifestyle, vlogging, mental health, lots of stuff, and I would love to have you join. So the Sephora holiday sale savings event is upon us. I'm gonna pop up a picture here on the screen of all of the details. So feel free to screenshot this. You can remember the code and what days to use it. It's broken out by dates and depending on how much you get off from Rouge, VIB, and the Beauty Insider. I'm currently a VIB. I've been a VIB for like five years. I don't know that I will ever make it to Rouge, honey, honestly. This year's not the year. So I will be shopping during the VIB sale, which I believe starts in early November. I'll leave it all up here anyways. There are definitely a few things from this that I am going to pick up but there are a lot more things that I just want to talk about that I think are cool and that may be on my Christmas list for someone else to buy me and I want to start off with two things from Ilia Beauty and the first thing is their I Heart Clean Holiday Set and it comes with the pouch that I absolutely love I already have one they do like these sets every I don't know quarter and the last set was to promote their tinted lip balm oils which I am absolutely addicted to I highly recommend you try them if you like a like glossy balm style texture there's a bug in here so now they are making a new kit to promote their new eyeshadow product which i am super interested in and definitely will be picking up a color or two this kit includes the chromatic eye tint in fresco which looks really pretty like a taupe brown color their limitless last mascara which i would have bought on my own anyways and their clean liquid liner which I don't wear a liquid liner, however, I like to have one in my stash at all times just in case I want to pop out a wing someday. I'm not the best at it, but I just like to have one available to me. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set because I love the Limitless Lash Mascara. If you guys want to see a demo of this, I've talked about it in multiple videos, but I actually did a full uh, demo on the other set that I just mentioned, so I can link that video up above. But absolutely, we'll be picking this up for 45 bucks. I feel like it's a steal and I can kind of get a feel on how I feel about those eyeshadows, but I'm probably going to buy one of them anyways, to be honest. The colors Dim and Mythic are right up my alley. It's like a lavender purple and then more of like a peachy tone. I watched their Instagram live like putting these on and they are literally just one swipe like in between a satin and a shimmer which I love all over the lid. I have hooded eyelids so these are like perfect for me to wear literally from the bottom of my eye honey up to my forehead. I love it, love it. They are pricey. They're $28 for an eyeshadow, but with the discount, I feel a little bit better about it and Sephora has a great return policy, so I'm probably going to pick up a few of those. This is also a great time to replenish any of your like go-to favorite products, so I'm probably going to pick up the Tarte Hydro Sealer. It is my all-time favorite concealer. I can't believe I just said that, but honestly, I feel like I've been looking for a like cult favorite concealer for literally years and I always thought that it was like shape tape or the fit me concealer and now that I've tried this and I try and use those again my skin is literally like Spongebob when he goes to Sandy's lair for the first time and he's like I need water that is my under eye and I have oily skin however my face decides where it wants to be oily and my under eyes stay crepey and dry so 
I like to use sometimes like a mattifying powder, which speaking of, I'll probably pick up the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose. I use it every single day. Every single day I do my makeup at least, I use it. It's my favorite powder. I like it more than anything else. And I buy it in the mini size and it still lasts months. So I'll definitely be replenishing those two items. As you may know from my Target video, which I can link up above, I was talking about my quest to find like a really good dry shampoo and how I've been using Batiste for years. And I do love it, but you know, it leaves a little bit of a white cast and I don't love the smell. And I'm just always on the hunt for something that's gonna make my hair feel clean. Well, my favorite high-end brands are Living Proof and Dry Bar. And Living Proof has a duo here of like a, a large size and a mini for 25 bucks. And the large size is already 25 bucks as is. So I'm really tempted to pick this up just because it is so nice. It makes your hair feel so clean. It is really pricey to get on its own. So with the discount and getting two, because this is part of like a holiday set, I feel a little bit better about that. We'll see. It's definitely on my wish list. I don't know if I'm actually gonna pick it up, but if you have any recommendations for like really good dry shampoos, regardless of if they're high-end or drugstore, let me know down below. I don't like the brunette ones that leave your hair brown. So anything with that, I'm, I'm willing to try. And my hair is fine and straight and very oily. Let's talk about a product that I've actually seen my friend use for years and has gotten some TikTok attention recently, and that's the Dr. Jart Sika Pear Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment SPF 30. So this is an expensive color correcting treatment. The full size is $52. However, you can buy a mini for 18. So I'm not gonna get this. However, I was tempted to get it because I know that it does work to color correct very well. Let me tell you what it is. So this is like a green to beige color correcting lotion slash cream that has some pigment in it. And when it is blended into your skin and the warmth of your skin, that green really counteracts any redness that you have in your skin. And it creates like, well, it looks like a flawless base without having to use foundation. So the main thing in here, as it's called the Sika, is uh, Centella Asiatica, which we know is great for the skin, and I'm all about that. And I was very interested off the bat. However, looking into the ingredients more, this is literally stuffed to the brim with essential oils. Lavender oil is in this, um, grapefruit peel oil, rosemary leaf oil, rosewood oil, just a lot of oils that uh, my very sensitive skin is not going to do well with, especially being left on my face for a long period of time. So even though the front half of this ingredient list looks really good, the back half is just way too much for me and I know it'll be irritating, so I wish that wasn't the case. This is a really cool and innovative product, but I'm probably gonna pass on it, but it was on my wish list for a little while. I'm also probably, I don't know, it's not in my cart, but it's on my wish list. You know the move from wish list to cart? It's like a back and forth thing. It's like a real battle. And once it's in the cart, it usually doesn't come out. So I have to be very particular about that. But I might add the matte bronzer from Milk Makeup. It's the $15 mini. And you guys know I love minis. I have an entire video doing my makeup with minis. I can link it up above. And I love the Milk Formula for their blush sticks. I'm actually wearing one today in the color Quirk. Quickie? Work? I'll leave it down below. I love their blushes so much and so I thought the bronzer has great reviews. I know a lot of people love it and it's kind of like been there, done that, but I've never tried it. For $15, I feel like it's a steal plus knowing that I will have 15% um, off. It just feels, feels doable. Okay, Selena Gomez coming out with minis. We stand. This is a mini set for $15 that includes a blush and a lipstick. And I think that is an amazing price. I'm sure they're literally like this big, but I don't care because how often do you actually go through a lipstick or any makeup products? Like really ask yourself, when's the last time you went through something? So once again, I say, if there's a mini, buy the mini. A tiny blush and a tiny lipstick if you actually like one of these colors, then you can buy the full size. But if you don't like it, it's like not that big of a deal or if you like one more than the other. I love this idea. I think she was really smart to do this for the holidays. I'm, I'm really interested in this. Um, I don't know if the blush is gonna be a great color for me. I, I tend to go for something more neutral and a little bit warmer, but I love sheer lipstick. As you know, I'm thinking about doing a ranking my sheer lipstick collection video. So let me know if you're interested in that because I have an insane amount. But I've also heard that her blushes are super pigmented from the reviews I've seen. So I am interested in that. I think it was a great idea for her and it was perfect timing for the sale. Okay, this is a high ticket item to me personally. 
Um, this is a $75 set from Nude Sticks from um, one of my favorite uh, influencers. I've never actually said her name out loud. Alana Davison. I'm so sorry if you're watching this. Alana Davison. She's Canadian. I don't think that has anything to do with it. She came out with this set with Nude Sticks that looks so freaking nice, but there's a caveat and the caveat is I'm not a huge fan of their eyeshadow sticks. I don't know, they're kind of dry and I don't feel like they're super blendable and there are a few included in this set. I'm more interested in the face stuff. So she has a really beautiful blush and my favorite highlighter from them in Hey Honey. If you wanna know, they have a mini set. If you're interested, I can link the mini down below. Absolutely love their blush and highlighter formula for oily skin. It's really thick and when applied with a brush, it looks very natural and doesn't stay tacky on the skin. I love it. She also has some uh, lip to cheek gel colors in here, which can be used obviously on the lip or cheek. The set is meant to be matinee to soiree, which means can be worn during the day and then you like flip out a lip product and then you have like a bolder look for the nighttime, which I think is really cute. I just don't wear darker colors in general. My uh, best friend's gonna laugh at this because I think everything looks too dark on me, even just like a wash of one color. I'm like, oh, it's so dark. So I do really like this set. Sister, I really like this set. She watched my videos and we're trying to think of um, stuff to get each other for Christmas. So sister, I really like this set. <laughs> This is kind of a random one and also a high priced ticket item, which is the silk pillowcases from Slip. I actually do have one in the shade Caramel and I really do like it. It's definitely an adjustment. If you've been sleeping on like a linen pillowcase and then you go to silk, it's like, it's always cold. It's very slippery and I feel afraid to like really put my face on it sometimes because I'm afraid that I'm gonna get like my face cream on it. It is really luxurious and it helps a lot with your hair. So if you deal with hair breakage or you know if you're looking for something to splurge on, silk is also really good for your skin. It claims to help with anti-aging and anti-sleep creasing and anti-bedhead. I always have bedhead. I always have creases on my face when I wake up. It doesn't matter what you put me on my face is gonna look crazy when I wake up. However, I have noticed a difference with my hair. I feel like it is generally just more soft and I don't notice as much breakage like rummaging through the bed or in my bedroom. So I really do like these and I'd like to get some more so that when I'm rotating and washing, I can keep a fresh set on the bed. I'm probably not going to get these, but they're definitely going on my Christmas list for someone else to get me. Oh, I did wanna mention something that I literally couldn't resist and just picked it up anyways that I a thousand percent recommend that you also pick up and that is the Glow Recipe Lip Pop Duo. If you like the smell of watermelon or blueberry like candy, you absolutely have to pick this up. I'm not someone who really likes that type of thing and I am obsessed with these scents. Like the watermelon lip pop is so good that I already had it and I bought this set anyways and now I have a backup because I use it so much. I really like the way it feels on your lips and also it kind of creates a nice soft pink glow on your lips after like 20 minutes of wearing it. It doesn't really transfer. I've worn it under masks without any problems. And now they have a blueberry one in this set. It also smells really good. It leaves a little bit of a berry stain on your lips. They just smell, I mean, it's really for the smell. If you don't like scented stuff on your lips, you're gonna hate this, but I absolutely love these. And for $28, like you have to get this. Please get it and tell me if you love it. I don't know if you guys know a lot about Tower 28 Beauty or like the reason that they were made and the people that they make makeup for, but it's essentially made for people with really, really sensitive skin or eczema prone skin. And one of my really good friends here in town got me hooked on this spray that they make called SOS, which stands for Save Our Skin. And it is a facial spray or a body spray that is made with hypochlorous acid. I have done copious amounts of research on this ingredient and have found very little things uh, about it, but I can tell you that it works. I'm actually planning on doing an entire video about this ingredient and about this spray because there are so few people using this and it does amazing things for the skin, for acne, for eczema, for irritation, and no one talks about it. I even sent a comment to Dr. Dre on her Instagram as if she knows who I am and asked her to talk about it because 
literally I can't find anything about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a video about it and talk about this spray because I feel like you guys would be really interested in it. So the last thing I wanna talk about is the Kosas 10 Second Liquid Eyeshadows. I recently picked one up in the color Copper Halo and I had really mixed feelings about it first because I wasn't shaking it up enough and it was just like a liquidy mess. Now I'm obsessed with it. I'm wearing it today, like the tiniest, lightest layer, so don't judge it yet. Don't judge it yet. It's awesome. It dries down. It's a beautiful color. It's like literally takes 10 seconds to do, and I'm all about that. They have a really cool lavender color called Cool Lavender. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. And even though it's a little out of my comfort zone, I think it'd be kind of fun to just have on hand. They also have like neutral colors if you're more interested in that. But right now they do have a sale on some of their crazier colors. So if you're interested, check them out, girl. They're really fun, they're cool, but they are expensive. Kosas and Ilya are kind of like one and the same with their pricing. This is $28 and it's a very similar like deal to the Ilya eyeshadow, which now in my head I'm like, well, why am I buying both? But I can't help it. I love liquid eyeshadows. I honestly haven't touched a powder eyeshadow in so long because I just prefer to like throw on a liquid eyeshadow, really do up my lashes and hit the door and I feel like it's my best look. Ooh, I realized one last thing while talking to you that I want to pick up. And that is because it is a replenish of my Laneige Cream Skin. I also might get one of these for my mom because she was really interested in it after I talked about it in my foolproof Korean skincare video. If you have sensitive skin and you wanna try out skincare from Korea, you should definitely watch that video. I talk about the Laneige Cream Skin and there's just so many ways to use it. If you have sensitive skin, it's great. I actually find that it helps me with irritation because it is made from white tea leaf, which is made from green tea. It's, it's just the most innovative, cool product ever. It comes in a mist form and a regular dropper form. I usually just put it in my own mister bottle so I can take it around with me wherever I want. So I'm probably definitely gonna be replenishing that. And I realize there's not a lot of skincare in this video, but honestly, I'm doing pretty well in skincare and I don't love a lot of the brands that Sephora has in terms of skincare. I feel like it's very overpriced high-end skincare and I can get a lot of that at the drugstore. I'm also really loving that Aveeno Oat uh, Calm and Restore line. I just posted a um, comparison with that and the Hydro Boost. If you like the Hydro Boost or you're looking for something a little bit different, definitely watch that because it is doing me right. I feel like as it gets into the colder months, it's really gonna be a staple in my routine. We have some great videos coming up in the next few weeks as we head into November, which is absolutely insane. I'm gonna answer some uh, most asked questions about tretinoin that I've covered on my TikTok because I know that not everyone likes the talk, I understand. We're gonna go over some of my fall favorites and flops and then also talk about travel skincare in the next few weeks. So I will see you guys then and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.